Welcome to Cinemagna. In today's video, we will showcase the world premiere video of the 2022 biographical survival drama film titled 13 Lives. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. 13 Lives recounts the incredible true story of the tremendous global effort to rescue a Thai soccer team who become trapped in the Tham Luang Cave during an unexpected rainstorm. Faced with insurmountable odds, a team of the world's most skilled and experienced divers, uniquely able to navigate the maze of flooded, narrow cave tunnels, join with Thai forces and more than 10,000 volunteers to attempt a harrowing rescue of the 12 boys and their coach. With impossibly high stakes and the entire world watching, the group embarks on their most challenging dive yet, showcasing the limitlessness of the human spirit in the process. The film is directed by Ron Howard, written by William Nicholson from a story by Don Macpherson and William Nicholson. The cast include Viggo Mortensen, Colin Farrell, Joel Edgerton, Tom Bateman, Paul Gleason, Patrick Horn Tungsupakal, Tui Thurafat Sajikal, James Tirid and Supapampanio, Sahajak Bunthanakat, and Weir Sukalo at Caneros. 13 Lives is set to be released by United Artists, releasing in select theaters on the 29th of July 2022, before streaming on Amazon Prime Video on August 5th. Without much further ado, please enjoy the 13 Lives premiere video. Like so many, I remember being glued to the news as this story unfolded, and I've thought about it many times since. Um, and I'd like to take a moment tonight to thank the true heroes responsible for this triumphant re rescue. We are truly honored to be here to celebrate with you all. This film reminds us to seek out and celebrate stories of human hope and triumph, and who needs that more than all of us right now, so thank you. I said, I, I need the authenticity. Audiences are going to demand it. I demand it of us. And please help me achieve that. Coordinating with our cast of Thai actors, who I'm going to introduce here in a second, you know, they did remarkable work, and, uh, and I, I think it shows. But it was about the spirit of, um, of, of, of what it represented, what this story meant and could mean. And they wanted to bring it to life in the most honest human way, the most relatable way. And, uh, and this even went through to the physicality of it, and um, the cast, once they had learned how to cave dive in a very technical way from the actual divers who were there with us training, came to me, um, and first and foremost, the spokesman was the man I'm about to introduce, and said, we have to do all the diving. And I said, it's not scheduled that way, it's impossible. Uh, he said, it's safe enough, we've learned how to do it, it's now a part of, of our characters, and we owe it to the audience. And that was all I needed to hear. I was nervous at first, maybe a little extra, because here it's not only scuba diving, which I tried a couple times before, but never in these narrow passages. And so I just paid a lot of attention to Ron Howard, what he was saying, but especially to Rick Stanton, the guy I was playing, who was our consultant. He was there. There's moments that are scary where you're, you're very confined spaces, and if you have any claustrophobia at all, which I have a little bit sometimes, um, you can find yourself, there's lots of bubbles, it means, oh, you're breathing too much, and you, you shouldn't. you got to save your oxygen, and if I want to seem like Rick Stanton, I, I wouldn't be breathing that hard, so it took me a while, but we had, Ron gave us rehearsal time to be with them, and by the time we started, we were all fairly comfortable. I just asked him everything about that experience, just about his career, uh, and techniques for diving. He's the one that turned me on to some people in northern Spain in the mountains who did cave diving said you should go try it. What do I hope the audience feels relief by the end of it? Uh, I think so many people all around the world live in greater and lesser degrees of tension and stress so to be able to see a story that ended um, as positively as this one did. Look people came together they really did. Cultures nations came together and there was one goal and it was a common goal 
so many countries, so many women, so many men to save the lives of these children. So it was an extraordinary, it was a very heartening experience to be part of telling the story. And I, I, if that can come across, I think Ron did an extraordinary job. But if the audience can feel a little bit of that, I think that's a nice thing. The challenge daily was not to drown. We had an amazing team of safety divers and we had amazing construct, uh, instructors. Uh, and constructors, constructors of the most incredible sets, elaborate. And I know there were safety divers there, and I don't know how those guys did what they did, all of them, because I had multiple panic attacks under the water, which was a first experience for me. The idea that there's a story that was true, that had a positive outcome, that was so, uh, a, such a reminder that as humans, when we all get together, and forget ourselves and forget our kind of divisions that we're capable of doing incredible things and putting our brains and our acumen to solving incredibly seemingly impossible problems this story is a reminder of that it's incredibly hopeful and like i said if even if we hadn't been through what we're going through right now it'd be worth telling i just really wanted to be involved in it, knowing there was an Australian who played a key role in the rescue and a, and a, and a shockingly um, complicated emotional role and a medical role and a physical role in this. Uh, and I know him to be uh, one of the greatest human beings I've ever encountered in my life. I wanted to be involved. If you made this movie and it wasn't a true story, no one would believe it. And I think it's extraordinary. But I get to play people who have true value in life. You know, and I've done it a few times in terms of true stories. And all I can do is catch a glimpse of the dignity and the great honour that uh, other people's lives represent for the rest of us. So I'm lucky. I get to just pretend to be great people. It's really good. Some of the, uh, you know, I think that the, what Ron's done with the diving scenes and what the actors have done, that's inc it's incredibly uh, realistic. The noises, uh, the sound engineering is fantastic. That brings the diving back completely. But it's the sort of uh, cave entrance sets that really brings the, the drama and the emotion of, and the tension of what was going on, chaos of what was going on. Well, uh, there's two things from a personal uh, point of view. Uh, you know, we were involved in it very much hands-on and, uh, and it, we, in a way we made it look too easy. Every day we'd go in, four or five boys would come out and nobody really engaged or knew uh, what we went through and how we did it. So I'm really pleased that people get to see that. But of course on a wider picture there were 5,000 people there of which we were just a handful all working together in adversity to, to a, a achieve a positive outcome. So just. But it always happens in adversity, never in normal normal times. I thought the timing was perfect for the story. I also thought that uh, you know the it was new, it was going to be challenging. Uh, but I thought the combination of the of these themes of what they represent and the the sort of uh, visceral suspense of a story like this made it a really good movie opportunity for me as a director and I thought for audiences as well. I hope they make an emotional connection with you know the the various brands of courage and heroism on display. It's not just uh, the divers. This really was, I mean, it was thousands of people and it was a massive international effort. And there were people making sacrifices in, you know, a wide array of ways and they all matter. And, uh, you know, it's a really inspiring story in that way. Well, going all the way back to Apollo 13, I've just realized that part of the entertainment value of a film like this is authenticity. And, and audiences can kind of smell it. And today you can jump online and double check things. And, and so, you know, par part of your promise with the audience is, yeah, we're gonna collapse a story, we're gonna make it very watchable and exciting and emotional and engaging, but the foundations and the, and, and the, and the, and the specifics of this are, 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 gonna, are gonna ring true. It's gonna offer you a sense of, of really what happened. You know, it was demanding, and yet once the actors, led by Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell, once they had trained with the real life divers, um, and Rick Stanton and Jason Mallinson, 
they came to me and said, we have to do all the diving. This is such a specific technique yes. that it's like, it's like part of our characters that we get this right. Well, this was so liberating for me and great for audiences because the way the shots unfold, I mean, it's, it's so mesmerizing. And then you realize this is them. This is them in those tight places. This is them, you know, dealing with, with that danger and this highly technical diving. And it was, uh, you know, it was just, the, I, I, I so appreciated, you know, their commitment. Basically, uh, I want them to look at this movie as entertainment, for one. Enjoy it, uh, not to pick anything out of it. Uh, there's nothing negative about it because it's a feel-good movie based on a true story, uh, told very well by Ron. And uh, it is a story about Thailand, um, about courage, about love, about heroism, about everything that is uh, that is actually Thai. It's a cultural thing and Ron, Ron portrayed it really, really well. Yeah, I think, I, I hope what they take away is what I took away from it, which is the, just the scale of how many people um, were involved in this rescue and, and I didn't know, I learned so much doing it and I think Ron's done it so beautifully and like you said, it's so emotional on so many different levels. I think that's because it tells so many different stories um, and every single person really touched my heart, every single person's story in this. So I hope that people take away just how rich and huge this this rescue was. Yeah, it was scary, but you know, we're so lucky as actors that we get, we always just get the most amazing team around you, training you, looking after you. We had one-on-one -on -one tuition. We trained for about two or three weeks, which is mad because the guys that literally the only people in the world who could do this rescue have been doing it for 20 plus years at least um, but we were really well looked after and it was a really big um, hurdle to overcome but it was the real joy of like playing someone who's such an amazing human being that will sacrifice their life to do this to hold a candle up to them was a real honor so um, anytime I was terrified I just thought these guys did this for real I get to get out of here and have a flat white in a minute you know but that was a beautiful thing about this movie we were all kind of embedded in this together and we went through it together so we had each other's back so anytime we got afraid but I had quite a few moments um, I don't like small spaces so I had quite a few moments where I um, I thought man I'm I'm really struggling here but you could like clock eyes with Vigo or Joel or Colin underwater and they'd give a little thumbs up and you think yeah come on breathe we got this so uh, it was tough but rewarding thanks for watching make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it click and watch our suggested video playlist right now for more entertaining videos Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.